Welcome back to episode 6 of the free to play skiller series. We're starting off this video with 353 total level, total XP of almost 700,000, and we currently have 12 quests completed with 26 quest points. In this video I'm going to try to round off some of these skills, get some of these level 30s up a bit, as well as finish off some of the quests that we can do. We still need to do Mistelin Mystery, Prince Alley Rescue, and uh, the Shield of Arav. And then we are completely done with the free to play quests. Demon Slayer hasn't been completed because it will give me combat XP trying to kill the demon, but I think I may still attempt it just to make the yellow writing green. I don't know, it's kind of like a little OCD thing. I don't have OCD, but yeah, I mean, come on, that is kind of annoying to look at. So I guess we'll see where that goes. We're going to be ruining the zero XP in combat. Well, I mean, I guess we have eight defense XP from Tutorial Island, so I guess we'll just do that. I don't know. In the skilling clan that I'm in, District 3, we are currently a Sapphire rank, which means that we have a total level of 300. That is the absolute lowest rank that you can get. And we want to move that up to the next tier, which is the Emerald rank. And that is at 400 total level. So we only have 47 levels to go in order to get the Emerald rank. So the first skill we're going to train in this video, I think, is going to be fishing. Let's try to get level 40 fishing, maybe level 41 fishing. No real reason to get 41 other than it'll match woodcutting. But uh, yeah, we're already here next to Barbarian Village. So I will see you guys when we are fishing. Level 35 fishing coming in here. We can now harpoon tuna. Very cool, very cool. If we remember, we could do temperos as well. But uh, yeah, we're not. So, hey, it's our first Gravedigger random event. It's about time. We're either going to get some of the clothing or the emotes. I don't remember which one you get first because it's been forever since I've actually unlocked any outfits or emotes. So uh, I guess we'll see. Back in the day, this was one of my favorites because I just thought the zombie mask looked super cool. And to be fair, back when you're like 11, 12 years old, the zombie mask is pretty cool. Wait, I put them in the wrong thing? What do you mean? So that one was right. That one is also right. Those are the pots and they go with the pots. Okay. So these two must be swapped. Um, I didn't even realize I did that. So this is the chef. And it's the chef. Wait, what? And this is farming. And this is farming. What? These are all correct. Oh. Wow. I thought it said that they were in the incorrect graves. That's so annoying that you have to actually talk to him the first time. Wow, that was a waste of time. And we get the zombie gloves and the zombie trousers. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's check out the random event collection log. We have three out of 23 items. We have the zombie trousers, zombie gloves, and the frog token. Very nice. Hey, level 40 fishing. We can now catch lobsters. I think I'm going to hang out here until we get to maybe level 50 fishing. I don't know. It's not going too slow. So I think I might just hang out here until I get bored. Free to play fishing here is popping, by the way. Look at all these people. Sheesh. I mean, yeah, some of them are bots. That's for sure. You should see when the fishing spot moves to the other side. But yeah, I mean, it's fun. People are here talking. Uh, people stop talking just as soon as I started recording, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun here. It's not a bad deal. Oh my gosh, look at this person over here. Using an Iron 2H to train with a forestry kit on their back, no boots, no gloves, no amulet. What a legend. A massive 463 GP worth of items. Insane. I accidentally clicked through it, but we just got level 45 fishing. Another random event. This time it is the Freaky Forester. And uh, there we go. Didn't know it would work with the bow. Oh wait, I'm not wearing a bow. <laughs> got myself there. And uh, what are we going to get here? We got the later hosen Top. All right. We're kind of mismatched here with zombie legs and a later hosen Top. But it's fine. I'll just bank this stuff when I get back to the bank. Because in 3.2k XP, we will be level 50 fishing. Hey, I didn't even realize it. I missed it. Level 50 fishing. Message went off in the clan chat as per usual, making this my third ever announcement in District 3. I think the next skill that we're going to train is woodcutting. Um, I think I'm going to get that up to level 50 as well and then maybe fire making after that. I'm not sure though. 
I mean, it is 426 in the morning right now, and I don't really feel like doing any quests or really anything other than something pretty simple, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go woodcutting. Hey, level 45 woodcutting coming in here. We can now cut down maple trees. And members can cut down hollow trees. Are there maple trees in free-to-play? Is that new? I thought maple trees were members only. I guess not. However, we did get a beginner clue nest. I put it in the bank so that I can get an extra log in my inventory. But we're going to do that after I get to level 50 woodcutting. Simply because the aggro of the dark wizards finally went away and I'm not getting attacked now and I could woodcut it in peace. And I kind of don't want to mess it up. So we're just going to stay here until we get 50. Hey, another random event. This time it is the dunce. And this is the first dunce that we've ever gotten on this account. And as you guys can see, the mule from the last video is still not banned. This event is really easy to cheese through. So it says what comes next. And for this answer, it's the beer. So if I click the beer, he says that's correct. I click on him again and I could click the beer again. And click on him again and click the beer. And now we're done. Don't even have to think about it. But what I do have to think about now is that my aggro probably just got reset. Didn't even think about that. Gotta love it. This book is going to go into rune crafting, of course. It's weird not using the book of knowledge on Slayer like I do on my other account. But uh, yeah, I guess rune crafting here is the best option. And now I'm getting attacked by a dark wizard. And here we go, level 50 wood cutting. If I was a member, I could craft a clothes pouch and cut mahogany trees. It's kind of annoying. I literally just lost aggro, I think. Just want to take a quick second to thank Borisk8 if you ever see this video. Thank you for constantly killing the dark wizards every time they'd attack me. It's now 5.51 in the morning, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Probably gonna train some fire making since I'm already here in Draenor, and I like fire making here. It's very simple. So I will see you all tomorrow. All right, we're back two days later. I took a day off yesterday and we are going to do this beginner clue scroll. And let's see what it is. We got a panic at the Alcarid mine. Okay, and the next step is talk to Charlie the Tramp in Varrock. These are the ones that I don't like too much. While I was in Draenor, I definitely should have bought more cards. I keep forgetting to do that. But talking to Charlie is always a pain because he wants you to do something and you can't just have the items on you. You have to actually go do it. So Charlie wants a raw herring. I think we could get Herring at Barbarian Village. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I guess we're going to find out. If not, I know that we could definitely get it at Draenor, which is unfortunate because we were just there. So I guess we only get Pike fishing in this stream. Uh, that's a little unfortunate, but I guess we just got to run over to Draenor now. I guess there kind of is a plus side of going back to Draenor Village. Now I could at least buy some teleport cards. And we've officially bought the store dry. They do restock pretty quickly, but, you know, I'm not going to just stand here and wait and wait and wait and wait. So I'm going to buy this last inventory here, and then let's go get this herring. I don't remember if he said he wanted a raw or a cooked herring, so we're just going to cook one of these real quick just in case. All right, we got our third casket on the account. Let's see what we get here. And absolutely nothing worth anything. I was going to train fire making because we were already in Drainer Village. But judging the fact that I was literally just there, had to go back, and then I'm going to have to go back again now, not sure if that's really what I'm in the mood to do. So I think because we're now in Varrock, um, we might as well go train some smithing. We haven't trained any smithing on the account so far, because we got level 29 from the Knight's Sword quest, and then we got one extra level when we were going for the Imkando Hammer, which doesn't exist in free-to-play worlds. So let's go train some smithing. Since we're level 30 smithing, I'm just going to buy steel stuff instead of making iron plate bodies. I know iron plate bodies is probably faster, but it's not nearly as afk -able. So we'll start out making steel daggers, and then we will upgrade if it is worth it. If I was a member, I'd get to 35 and make cannonballs, but uh, that's obviously off the table. But I wish I could. It's super afk, it's like 3 minutes in inventory. So yeah, let's buy some steel bars so that I can make some steel daggers and upgrade when necessary. I'm going to buy 2,000 steel bars. That's 902k. Hopefully, I'm able to sell some of the items that I'm smithing. So when I'm level 31, I'm probably going to make steel axes. At least I know that they sell at least to botters who want to bought woodcutting. 
And here comes level 35 smithing. We can now make steel scimitars. Let's see how much money those are real quick. Maybe it's a little faster XP. I'm actually paying attention in smithing instead of AFK smithing. I mean, 99 GP, these bars are 483 each. I honestly think I'm going to switch over to iron plate bodies because I'm just literally burning through so much cash. And because I'm paying attention, iron plate bodies aren't going to be too, too bad to do. So let's head over to the Grand Exchange and sell all of these steel bars and buy iron bars. Oh my god, it's Ronald McDonald. So we really didn't lose too much money doing these steel items. But then again, it was only for five levels at a low level. Let me open up the smithing calculator here and figure out how many iron bars we need. So we are going to have to make 631 iron plate bodies. And at five iron bars each... That'll bring us out to 3,155 iron bars. So 564k. I'm actually going to be saving money making iron plate bodies as opposed to making all of those steel items. Hey, level 40 smith and sneaking in here. We can now smelt gold ore. Maybe I might do that eventually. Um, I doubt it, but <laughs> maybe I might. Also, we're getting about 72,000 XP an hour here. I haven't been running back and forth from the bank because 54 kilograms weighs you down like crazy. And level 45 smithing. I realized that I could smith steel 2 H's. Um, that's probably way better XP than iron plate bodies. I'm gonna stick with the iron plate bodies though. I just haven't trained smithing in so long, I completely forgot about the weird leveling system that they have for smithing. Because at level 30 you can make steel daggers, but then you can't even make steel plate bodies until level 48. So I guess I'll just stick with doing iron plate bodies, I really don't want to go back to the Grand Exchange and buy steel bars again. Just got the Drill Surgeon random event, very nice, we're about to get our first piece of camo gear. I will never be wearing it though, because it is absolutely hideous. However, the original model of the camo gear back in the day whenever it came out was peak fashion scape. I mean, look at this. You're literally in like a ghillie suit. It's so sick. I can't believe they got rid of this. But yeah, we got the camo top. I'm going to pick that up in a second, throw that in the bank. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you at level 50 smithing. We are officially on the last iron plate body to get... Level 50 smithing. I can now smelt mithril ore and make mithril daggers. I think what we're going to go train next is going to be mining. I know I keep putting fire making on the back burner. I just don't want to go to drain ore right now. And we're already here in Varrock, so we might as well do some mining. Oh, mining here is so terrible. I've gone through every single free-to-play world twice, and there is not a single opening. In most worlds, there's actually two bots on top of each other mining. But uh, yeah, the only times I have to actually mine are whenever they go to the bank. So what I'm going to do now is go on my alt account in the Alcarid mine, and I'm going to basically body block the scorpions until I lose aggro. I mean, that's really the only thing that I could really do right now, aside from waiting for very long periods of time between mining. So I will see you guys at Alcarid. No shot. There are actually bots here. That is so irritating. You have no idea. Oh my god. Come on now. I just can't escape these people. I'm convinced that all of the people in free-to-play worlds right now, if you add them all together, at least 95% of them are bots. They have to be bots. So irritating. Quick little update. At level 36 mining, the bot finally logged off. It took a while. I had to be very vigilant in clicking these rocks as soon as they spawned. And I was beating him to like 80% of the rocks, which is surprising because the guy's definitely a bot. I mean, he has level 71 mining and look at these stats. And of course, he has the typical bot name. But yeah, I mean, this one, I guess, is programmed to log off if there's competition eventually. For some reason, he kept coming out and picking up the water runes and the fire runes like every time they would spawn, which I thought was very odd. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. The bot is finally gone. Here comes the next mining level. Once I finally mine this rock, level 40 mining, we can now mine gold, and we just got system logged. Gotta love it. Only one more level until we get the rune pickaxe. I'm very excited. Upon logging in, I didn't even realize this initially, but we have 410 total level, which means that in District 3, we can go up to the Emerald rank. We're still at the Sapphire rank, so I gotta let them know that I have reached total level 400. 
However, no one is online right now that can change my rank. Which means that we're going to have to wait till the next episode to physically see my rank in District 3 go from Sapphire to Emerald. But yeah, that's where I'm actually going to end today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I realize that this isn't my typical looking outro. I just don't want to leave the mine to get a better camera angle and have to lose aggro to the scorpions again. So it is what it is. But anyway, we're ending out this video with a total of one day and 13 hours played. My total quest points being 26 with my total quests being 12. And of course, as I referenced earlier, we're ending this video also with 410 total level and almost 1 million total XP. So yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new here and want to see more updates in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I'm not sure why I'm getting attacked by the scorpion, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.